Hello and welcome. It's my first episode of Dinosaur Park. This is a new game that has just been released and I would like to introduce it to you. I really like it. I've already played it for a while or for some days <laughs> um, in German. And now I'm trying out also the English version. And um, I hope you will like this game as well. Me and my kids, we, yeah, we really like it. We will see. <laughs> Clear blue skies and temperatures that'll put your freezer to shame. Greetings from Antarctica. The expedition was a reso resounding success. Countless dinosaurs deep frozen in the eternal ice, but alive. It's a miracle. We were able to thaw the first few dinosaurs already. We want to build a permeable zoo to provide proper care and address their unique needs. Will you help us? Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you. Together we're going to create a true dinosaur paradise. The first few adorable dinosaurs have already made themselves at home here. Would you take care of them, please? What a mess! Grab the scrubber and swipe over the dirt with it. Yeah, so at the very beginning of the game, basically you also get an introduction of tasks that you will have to do all over again and again <laughs> during the course of the game. And that's for example cleaning up enclosures. Just look how happy they are. Good job! Dinosaurs sure make a mess. And they have a truly terrifying appetite. Would you please feed them? How can I find feed dinos? When dinosaurs are hungry, a bucket will appear over the enclosure. Tap on it. Yeah, I'll just show you. <laughs> So there's the bucket and then I can choose what kind of food I will use. Um, for me it always depends on the situation. Um, in the beginning I need to save up money to buy different things. Um, I will use the free food. Um, overall sometimes if I have lots of money and I just need to get forward to the next level um, then I will use the, the blue bucket because that gives me more experience points but I'll have to spend money for it uh, and I never ever gave the pink bucket <laughs> because that costs we have two different kind of currencies here we have the coins and the ammonites and the ammonites are really precious so I'm not trying to waste them um, I'm so glad you're helping me I couldn't have done it on my own next <clears throat> we show <coughs> next we should plant we sh next we should plant some flowers to brighten the place up a bit there's also another sweet hypsilophodon in our inventory and i will have to say this right away <laughs> my, my pronunciation I, <laughs> about dinosaur names is um Probably not so accurate, <laughs> so please pardon me. I named him Hupsi. Would you put him in the enclosure with his friend? So here we can see how this um, Hypsilophodon is looking like and we have to place this one and we also have to place the eight decoration flowers. And then below we can see what our rewards will be coins and the, the stars are basically experience points that will help us to get to the next level we can see this here in the, in the top left corner um, where we see the, the number one and we are on the way to number two uh, we need 199 more experience to reach level two and then at every level we are getting some rewards and there are some other things that are being unlocked um, that we can get at that point of time. And then on the left we also see always um, the task that we are currently working on. 
Yes, and on the right and the top we have our inventory. So if we bought something, it will be here, but we can also use this to take out stuff that we placed before and take it back into our inventory and we can access this at some, again, whenever we want to have it. So first I will put him to his friend. Every animal has a certain number of um, um, visitor points. Uh, you can see this here um, in these small squares. There's a 20 next to this person. Um, and this is like how much people like it. Now we can see this other dinosaur here. This one with 30 points, so people will favor him. And this one even has 50 points. So whenever you buy things, you will see also from this how much is this influencing the visitors if they are drawn to the park or not. Yeah, then we have these flowers. Um, what's important maybe or interesting to know is that here in front of the park, you also have a certain area oops, um, <laughs> where you can place things. So this was also my first reward that I got for placing these things. And I also got to the next level. I got two ammonites, I got 2,000 coins and some trees. Huh? What's Dr. Midas from City Council doing here? She has been a generous donor to the park. Good day. I can see you're really trying. And I know it's always been your dream to keep dinosaurs. But, and this really breaks my heart, you're going to need to shut down the park. That's terrible. Why? Just look around. It's completely empty. No visitors to be seen. Amper Automobiles has made a bid for the property. If you want more donations, you'll need at least a handful of visitors. We're just starting out. Soon this place will be teeming with happy visitors. This glorified petting zoo? It doesn't look like it. We just need a little time. Please believe us. Alright, I don't want to be that way. You have 48 hours. But if you don't have 5 visitors when time's up, you'll need to shut down. Understood. We need 5 visitors, but we'll manage that. No problem. First, we'll need more dinosaurs and decorations. So these are our new tasks and we'll get a reward. This time we actually have really just a specific amount of time. It's real 48 hours. That's we have why we have this um, clock here at the top right bottom. And we should have eight dinosaurs, five visitors. Okay. So here in the top we see this visitor lady and it shows us we need six more popularity for a new visitor. So um, one of these flowers for example has three popularity. I just wanted to place them in a different way so I will just <laughs> change this. So what I was going to say before <laughs> they started talking, um, we can use this area here in the front also for placing some things like decoration or there are also some buildings later on um, that we have to build we could also put them here we cannot put dinosaurs here that wouldn't make any sense um, and especially with the flowers um, i like to put them here first because yeah right now our park is not so big there is more space around the park that we can buy also um, we can also change the sizes of these enclosures, we'll have to do that also later. And then if I have all this decoration around it, I will just make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, I have to pick it all up again, put it into inventory, so that I have maybe the space to, um, to change um, the enclosure size. So I will just put this in. Now we have a nice 
offer here at the very beginning uh, exclusive vip gift now for a tyrannosaurus t-rex um, if we buy 1000 ammonites ammonites are really nice to have and for some tasks you really need them but they cost real money and i'm trying to avoid buying it <laughs> um, i don't mind sometimes to spend a little money <laughs> because i think the developers also deserve money of course <laughs> but um you don't have to buy this um you can play a long time you will need more patience there are always ways to get these ammonites um it just sometimes takes longer so let's see what do we have to do we want more dinosaurs and more visitors so we can look in our shop here um the different categories of what we can buy for example dinosaurs we already have 10,000 coins here um, the dinosaurs are split up into different areas in which they live and you can also see some cost uh, coins and some will cost these ammonites um, yeah so you need the ammonites for that sometimes um, we have the different enclosure types um, and they all have a trough for the feeding they will all have uh, their different kind of toys um, so that the animals that the dinosaurs <laughs> have something to play with um, they have a water place to keep the enclosure clean and there's decoration then we have buildings so we will have some shops available so that we can also earn additional money Right now there's, for example, this ice cream place, um, ice cream stand that I just put here in the very front already. Um, these buildings, they all take time to build. The simpler they are, the faster it is. You see, this is just one minute, but some more bigger buildings, um, they will maybe then take eight, four hours or so to be built. And then later on, what's coming up here, you see there is going to be a staff, staff housing, staff housing and a breeding center also. We'll be able, able to breed our dinosaurs. Yeah, different kind of ways, fresh bins. Okay, um, and then we have decorations like flowers, bushes, trees, toilets, fences, benches and so on. Yeah. So now we have to buy some things to get these visit points. For example, we have these tulips tulips here. There you can see this one tulip is just two visitor points. Now, how many do we need for the next visitor? 36. And this is maybe also interesting to know. The, the, the popularity points that you need for visitors, it's going up exponentially. And also the points that you need to reach the next level. So in the beginning it's quite easy to get forward, but later on it's gonna get harder and harder and it's gonna be slower. Okay, then let's see. Let's play some more dinosaurs. So that we get our... We need eight dinosaurs, right? One, two, three, four, five. I cannot play more of this, but I can buy one more of this. What else can we buy? Maybe we buy some decorations also. Maybe I also start putting my tulips here in the front. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. Oops. In So I have two visitors already and I'm close to level number three and in level number three I can buy another dinosaur kind. This is the Prinusi Fali. <laughs> okay, um, then we will maybe buy some more. 
on all these bushes. I will just leave them here in the front. And then five. And then we level number three. We get some more money again. Some other flowers. Oh, and what's coming up there? Uh-huh. Where did this ice block come from? We weren't expecting any this week. How mysterious. Wonder what kind of dinosaur is inside. I can't wait to find out. It's in good hands with us. Enough talk, let's get it out of there. So this is in our inventory now. I'm sure the dinosaur in the block of ice will be our new visitor magnet. There's hope yet for the park. Quick, let's build an enclosure so we have a place to throw it out. So we need a grassland enclosure. And then we need to throw the dino. So whenever we get these ice blocks, we'll get them yeah, more often in this game also. And well, um, we will always just put them into an enclosure and then it takes a certain amount of time. I forgot if it's always the same or not. Um, for the ice to melt and then the dinosaur is alive. So this enclosure, the grassland enclosure is there really fast to build, it only takes half a minute. Other kind of enclosures um, from the forest or from the desert or jungle, they will take a bit longer. So we just put this ice block here. It has visitor points, popularity points. So we have three visitors now. And it just takes some seconds. Then it's melted. Baby, oh my, a poke procomsignator's hatchling. It's so tiny. A new dinosaur, so we got a reward. Look, I think it wants to play with you. Provide entertainment for one enclosure. And so, we just got this funny sheep. For playing whenever this is popping up it means our dinosaurs want to play the visitors are loving the baby dino come on we've almost done it just decorate the park a little more so what else do we have here we received the street lamp doesn't really matter where we place it, it just brings some popularity points and we get some more flowers of these. And I'll just leave them steady in the front. Um, we need two more dinosaurs. Let's see, we are further le one level further. Level number three on the way to level number four, so we can buy him. And we need one more. I can him and put them here. So we fulfilled this one task already. We need one more visitor. We need 152 more popularity points to receive a new visitor. And I think we're almost at the oops, almost at the next level. 33 more experience point. Experience point we get by feeding, by cleaning enclosures or by playing with the animals, but also by watering plants. So whenever we buy some plants or later on there will be a sign that we need to water them, this will also give us experience. So I will just look for some more plants to buy. Here we have some purple tulips. I'll just place them next to the yellow ones. You can see there's always some popularity coming up. 
popularity points and also some stars and experience points and level number four and there's a new dinosaur that i can buy feeding each and every dinosaur short eats a lot of time there's got to be a better way let's get some trousers then the dinosaurs can just help themselves. You should decorate the enclosures with flowers or rocks. Dinosaurs and visitors will love that. So, two trowels we have to place in the grassland. And we place three pink yellow. Many words that I don't really know <laughs> how to pronounce them properly. So, and we received some trees. Maybe I'll just place them here in the back for now. Mm. And then we go to the enclosures and I will buy first one for this enclosure because I have three dinosaurs here. And then I can feed three at one time so to say. Uh, and here I have two. That's why it just gives us more experience points the more dinosaurs I have in an enclosure if there's a troll it's feeding all of them at the same time and um, it just gives me more experience um, and now we need these flowers we can also click on the symbol of the, the task um, and it will then just take us directly to the store where we can buy this so this whatever is inside the enclosure we don't need to um, to water these kind of plants, they just bring us one time popularity points for new visitors. They look nice, but besides that, they don't have any specific um, role. Good morning, I'm Grub. What a great park you have here! I'm here to give up my little Debbie. She just isn't happy in my backyard anymore. You mean that baby Parasaurolophus on your arm? You keep dinosaurs in your backyard? No, this is Garth, my gecko. Here, look at this photo. That's Debbie. Isn't that just the cutest toothy smile? The Dinonychus? How do you end up with one of those? One morning, I just found two huge blocks of ice in my garden. Anyway, Debbie is tearing apart my house and garden. If you build a more suitable enclosure, I'll bring her over. Ice blocks and garden predators? Sure is some funny business. So, new task. I need to complete one first. Debbie, start enclosure. Place one through. Place for rocks and place a dirt path five times okay so i will just start continuing actually here's some dirt path already if i click on the shop symbol then i can just choose where i want to continue this path so i'll just add my five pieces to complete the task and then i will buy forest enclosure it has to be along the path otherwise visitors cannot go to the animals and then the popularity points don't count now you can see already this is going to take two minutes um, I can already go ahead I could go ahead already and buy the crown and rocks that I need here the money yeah should be enough for that and I'm sure once we do this, we will also get our first visitors. We only need 32 more popularity points for our visitor. And let's see these rocks. Honey, they don't really give us. What does it say here? No, they don't. It doesn't say how many visitor points we will get for that. But with the dinosaur that we we'll put in it, <laughs> that will give us the points now. So of course in the due time I could already go ahead and buy some more flowers for these other two enclosures. 
but of course I also have to make sure that I budget my money right as you see so far I didn't spend any ammonites yes I wanted to get back to that in the beginning um, in the first couple of levels you will actually get two ammonites for every new level that you reach normally if you have level five um, you will get I think five and then at level 10 you get 10 pieces and then always at 5 you will get 5 so 15 25 35 45 you will get 5 new ammonites i think um, once you're above 10 you will only get one per new level so 11 level 11 you get one 12 13 14 you get one 15 you get five 16 you get one and so on and then for 10 20 30 you will always get the same in the, the same number um as level the number of <laughs> for level 10 you get 10 ammonites for level 20 you get 20 ammonites for level 30 you get 30 ammonites and so on it's the same amount according to the level that you are that you're in so here's our enclosure now uh, I can just click here and click buy then it's gonna be in my inventory and I can take it from there but I can also take it from the shop and just pull it directly into the enclosure not going over the inventory which is a bit faster so this is what I actually prefer that's why I was waiting until the enclosure is actually done so we're done we also get a reward for this good with new money three four five visitors we have five visitors Dr. Midas won't believe it here she comes I have got to say I can scarce recognize the park you have my respect you can keep your dinosaurs for now good work I'm so happy we did it so it is our reward we also get the new the dinosaurs and we have our five visitors and I will not wait right now and we're also at level number five. Oh, okay now I see level number five you still get only two ammonites so starting above level number 10 that's when it started that you only get one for every new level and at every fifth level you get five not now please <laughs> so let's put our new dinosaur here they are so naughty these are the ones they are They've broken out of the enclosure in my game very often. <laughs> Let's see. That is also happening here. So we got also as a reward a new trail. I'll put it here since I have more dinosaurs here than in the other enclosure. And we got some more flowers. Well, actually just one. And I want to just leave it here in the front for now. So right now we don't have any specific task so i will just place more decoration more buildings maybe i can see here um besides the ice cream stand shop that we have they have a small souvenir shop here for example i buy that that really has to be along the the pathway um then we have small snack shop the shops are important because this is how we earn money and I actually this is I will actually spend money for this <laughs> um, small drink shop I will spend uh, some ammonites for this because I know we need it <laughs> yes I really want to buy this one and you can see here this is going to take three hours the other one two this one is taking one hour this one here from the front is already done um once the the cashier is has a certain amount of money or is full you will actually find a symbol like here on top of the dinosaur park also um from the entrance they actually have this offer that you can watch a commercial and then you get I think 10% more coins but for me uh, um, this is too much 
I don't want one to watch commercials all the time. That's why I'm just, just closing this and I just take the money that was in it. So I can at any time click here on the park sign. If there was money in the cash drawer, the, what is now gray, the coin, I could just click that and take the money out. Same here on the shop, the, ice, the small ice cream shop. Um, we can see here I have six coins in it. The maximum amount that it can store is 120. Um, whenever somebody's buying, the income is three coins. So I can just um, pick up my money in between all this. Then here in the front, you can also um, click on this sign to watch commercials. And this is this is what I will do every day. <laughs> Normally, one commercial is um, 30 seconds, and if you watch 10, you will get one ammonite. And you can do this um, two times a day. So every day I can watch 20 commercials and receive two ammonites. So basically if I'm doing this for months, I will have 60. Uh, and that really helps because in the game there are certain things, dinosaurs or shops or other things where you really need to have these ammonites. Uh, you can just buy them. There's like a real shop. No? You spend real money to buy this and you will get forward in the game fast or you just watch commercials take it a bit slow wait with every level you get some at least one ammonite certain um, task quest you will get ammonite so you don't have to spend the money it just uh, is a matter of patience i think so what else can we do oh, yeah we had this new the pterodactylus my kid's favorite. <laughs> um, so I just buy an enclosure for him. And also, I will also buy an, an enclosure for the um, stegosaurus. So I will just continue the pathway a little bit. At least one. And then I put another. Um, forest enclosure here. Um, it is the one corner at the pass, so that's already enough to be able to use it for an enclosure. Oh, see now I did not see this. <laughs> ah, the pterodactylus it takes ammonites, and now I already spent my ammonites for the um, small drink shop. I don't have enough right now. To put them there but I know there are some tasks coming up where I will get new ammonites and that's the time when I will do it. Also what's maybe important to know is that the shops that you have they have different upgrade levels they have 0, 1, 2, 3 um, and of course that costs money. At certain levels it will be unlocked that you can upgrade then and then the, uh, you can have more money in the cashier. So right now, overnight, so to say, my, my cashiers will fill up. Um, and then in the morning, I can will collect the money. And of course, if I have level 3, then I don't know, maybe 360, something like this might fit in the cashier. Um, so I will always collect more money in the morning. If I just empty it during the day, every couple of hours and collecting it, it's probably not going to make much difference. But it's... Uh, if you have many shops and they have all a higher level then overnight you can um, collect more money this is also only coming up in level number seven then what else can we see here already on the right um there are achievements that we can make for example here if we have built type shops we will get a certain reward if we have five trousers we will get a reward Num certain number of species, decorations, visitors. Um, we can scroll through this and see um, what kind of rewards uh, or for what we can get rewards. Um, I think in the beginning, maybe you get like 2000, and later on, if you have 10, 15, 20 of a certain thing, the rewards also or the achievement, uh, yeah, the reward for the achievement gets also higher. So, now, let's buy this dinosaur, we got one more visitor, 
we still need some experience point anything necessary here right now no so maybe let's place some decoration because that also gives us experience i can place more of these flowers And you can see the, the number that you can buy per item is limited and normally with the levels this number then also gets higher again so right now i could only buy 20 of the purple and yellow tulips but maybe at level 10 15 i will be able again to buy 10 more and so on we'll just continue Um, the flowers and the trees are, and also the bushes are especially good um, regarding this um, experience points because you will water them every after yeah every couple of hours or so and that always brings you new experience again if you have like a lamp or a bench uh, playground things like this it's nice it gets you visitor popularity points but it's not gonna add up um, any experience for you later on it's just like one-time experience points that you will receive so what else do we have we have some more trees that we can plant okay and we can place toilets uh, oops. Oh, and I actually slowly run out of money, so let's see, I have a little bit of money here. Um, then somebody was throwing some trash, I can just clean this up. There are also trash bins that I can buy in place. Here in the decorations, where do we find them again? No, not here. They are just the buildings. Now uh, for 100, I can buy a trash bin. They also get me um, popularity and experience points. Yeah, and I think for now, this is all that, that I will do. I will just wait a bit so my buildings have time to finish and some money is going to build up in the cashiers. I will probably have to water some plants later on, feed the dinosaurs again, that gives me more experience. And once I'm in level 6, well, let's see, as a reward, I'm getting my Pterodactylus, even though I didn't buy it now, I will just get one for free, I will also get new money, and so on. Okay, I hope you like it, enjoy, and then see you in the next episode. Bye!